What's up, you guys? This is Mary with HPI High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel on this beautiful 7 6 2023 morning and um, you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. Love you guys. Do, do, do. Um, it's 7 47 a.m. on a Thursday, I do believe. Thursday, July 6, 2023. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. I'm just saying. Um, if it looks like I'm crying, I'm not. It's just my eyes were a little watery. So, just saying. Not because I'm crying. Um, just saying. Okay, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I did get a couple channelings. And then I got something in my dream state. But intuitively, I feel not to share that. So, I'm not doing that. So, I'm just saying. <sighs> Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so um, the first one I got was um, I heard um, a family that is heavy um, into um, polyamory and polygamy. Um, I heard they're trying to keep it from certain family members and for certain people in their community, community and other people's community. Um, I heard it's about to get out, and it's about to get out in a huge way that they're into polyamory and poly polygamy, particularly a judge, or, and that was specific, particularly a judge, and um, a judge and someone in corporate, so whoever the someone in corporate is, and a judge, but it's about to get out to those two people. For some, you could be the judge or someone in corporate. Now, someone in corporate could be any corporate entity, I'm thinking, but this uh, obviously, I'm feeling a toxic family. I just heard they are. Yeah, toxic family. Um, they don't want other family members or other people in their community or other people uh, in their community or surrounding communities to know they're into polyamory and polygamy. Um, I heard they are heavy. They are heavy. But um, just now. So judge or person in corporate that's about to find out they're into polyamory and polygamy. Just know it's not just a little bit. It's a lot. They're into it very heavy, this toxic family. But um, they don't want you to know judge and person in corporate. Um, and a, well, I'd say judge, person in corporate, and at least one other family member. So judge, person in corporate, and at least one other family member. And people in um, their community and other communities, too. So you guys have to plug yourself in where you fit. So whether you're a judge, person in corporate, a person in their family, or people in their family, or people in their community or surrounding communities that don't want them, that they don't want you to know they're heavy into polygamy and polyamory, or they're very toxic. Um, I heard it's about to get to you guys. Um, and um, I heard, I just heard you're going to take great action. You're going to take great action. So um, I heard they've been doing this for years. And I heard they like to manipulate the system and manipulate others. But I heard the truth is, um, Truth is about to come out in a huge way, and there will be no manipulation. It will be based off the truth, and um, I heard their lives are about to change in a way they don't want to change because they're liars, hypocrites, and manipulators. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, liar, hypocrites, and manipulators. As well, that's not morals, values, ethics, integrity, and values. That's just the truth. <laughs> so... They're liars, manipulators, um, manipulate person, people, patient, situation, and hypocrites. So, just saying. All right. So let me. Um, they don't live in their. They don't live in their truth. I mean, at least everything I've told you on here about myself in the past, it's the fucking truth. I wouldn't hide it because it is my truth, and I mean, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed of myself or anything I've been through in the past, but I've made it through. All right, here we go. I was going to read you guys the difference between polyamory and polygamy. At least I've come out on the other side of the better person. I just want to add that. Okay, so polyamory is the act of having intimate relationships with more than one person at the same time. A polyamorous person might have or might be open to having multiple romantic partners. Polygamy, on the other hand, involves being married to multiple partners. Um, I don't think, polygamy, I don't think is legal in the, uh, 
a certain state. I know it's not legal in the state of Alabama. Um, you can't be married to more than one partner in the state of Alabama, and that's just the truth. Um, that's grounds for an uh, an annulment. Um, when I did that that reading with you, uh, somebody's get, about to get an annulment, somebody's in the process of getting one. I looked up statutes for getting an annulment, and that's one of them. You can't be married to more than one person. So that polyg um, that um, poly polygamy, P O L Y G A M Y polygamy. Um, that cannot, um, that in the United States of America, of course, I'm not speaking to other countries, but in the United States of America, I know in Alabama, you cannot be married to more than one person. And that's just true. They're very conservative down here. They're very staunch down here. They're very red state down here. Um, they don't, they don't believe in that. Um, and that's just the truth. <laughs> but honestly, I don't believe in it either. And I'm not a red state kind of person or a blue state kind of person, but I don't believe in that shit either. Um, and that's just true. Of course, I don't believe in having, I don't have, I've never had sex with several people at one time. When I, I used to date a lot, but it was one person at a time. And when I was married, you better believe I would have never, never went out and cheated because that's just not me. He cheated on me several times. And that's just true because he's disrespectful and he's rude and he doesn't understand the bond and secrecy of marriage, um, nor does he want to. Um, and that's just true, my husband. But, you know, another reason why, not with him, just saying. Um, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, because I'm not married to his ass, I don't have to deal with it. And that's just true. But um, anyways, um, that's the way I look at it, you know, but, uh, yeah. So let me read this one more time. So polyamory is the act of having, uh, intimate relationships with more than one person at the same time. So, um, having sex with multiple people, basically, you don't have to, you know, not being married or not, basically like swinger orgy energy, basically, um, uh, or just a lot of girlfriends and boyfriends. Or fiancés or partners or what have you. Um, a polyamorous person might have or be open to having multiple romantic partners. So open relationships, whether they're married or not, basically. And that was one of the weird things when I moved out to, this, uh, to the city uh, like six years ago. When I came out here, when I first moved out here. Well, not, not when I first moved out here. I'm sorry. Not when I first moved out here. When I first moved out here, no. It was after I quit that Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital because I'd actually already lived out here almost two years when that happened. It was when I quit that weird ass hospital in Huntsville. I had people in the community coming up to me asking, "Are you in an open re Are you in an open relationship? Do you believe in uh, uh, open something about open relationships, open marriages, and something like that?" And I said, "No. I said I'm not even married." I was like, even if I was, I don't believe in that shit. I had several people come up to me and ask me that. But that's when I was being gang stalked and didn't realize it was gang stalking. And that's just the truth. Um. So, yeah. All right. Let me see if I have anything else. I got to hurry up. It's almost 8 a.m. Um. Okay, um, I heard someone in a um, polyamorous and a polygamous, um, polyamorous and polygamous relationship. I heard legally married. I heard um, they're about to find out. Um, I heard what um, agreed to the legal marriage. I don't know how why that's significant. Agreed to the legal marriage, so they they actually agreed to be legally married. Well, the only other way with that is not being married. And that's just true. Like me. I'm legally single. And I love that shit. Um, and that's just true. Freedom of choice, baby. But anyways, um, I've just seen too many bad marriages. And that's damn true. I mean it. I have nothing against being with somebody like in a stable, grounded, reliable relationship. But I don't ever want to get married again. 
and I'm serious. Even though I think, you know, having a nice, beautiful wedding would be cool. Mm -mm. I don't want the legal document of it. We can pretend and, and do all the cute, funsy stuff. <laughs> but no legal document because I don't want to be binding to nobody, no fucking contract. And that's just the truth. No marriage contract. It took me long enough to get out of the one I was in. <laughs> But um, that's the way I look at it. But okay, so yikes! <laughs> you playing it in how it resonates. Um, I heard kids, um, kids of the people in this marriage uh, contract, this supposed union. Uh, it's not really very sacred. They're spreading their body fluids to everybody else and their mama. Just want to throw that out there. Weird asses. But um, anyways, uh, um, these people, they're, um, they're kids. They're about to find out their kids are into some, um, I heard very sexual things just like the parents. Um, into very, uh, very sexual things just like the parents. So maybe they're into poly polygamy, polyamory or whatever. But like parents like kids, um, which is. Yikes. But it's because it sounds like the kids have watched these parents. I think the parents have participated in orgies or swinger parties or sex parties or something. Um, and it's, they've got them groomed into this fucking lifestyle. I heard it's about to embarrass the hell out of these parents. Uh, they don't want the community to know, um, and others from the community to know, but they're about to find out. I heard it's about to, uh, okay, so it's about to embarrass the hell out of these parents that their kids are basically acting like hoe bags, like their parents. Well, if they're going around acting like a whole bag, what do you expect? And they're legally married. But, um, so now the kids, I just heard teenagers, um, and an adult, teenagers and an adult, young adult, teenagers and a young adult, um, are doing the same thing as mommy and daddy in the marriage, but not really a sacred marriage because they spread their body fluids to everybody and their mama. What? Yikes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, you plug it in, how it resonates. <laughs> Let me see if I can get out. Ooh, can y'all? Ooh, I didn't see, realize y'all could. Whoops. <laughs> well, at least I have underwear on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. You can't really say anything. Oh my God, I heard from one of these married couples, a former, um, a former person in a, um, biker gang, I heard a biker gang that I heard they, um, um, that they have participated in sex parties with in the past. I heard they're about to become a bane of their existence. I heard the bane of their existence. So bane of their existence, for anybody who doesn't know, that's not good. That's not good. It's like a pain in their ass. Um, t plus some, um, that's how I take that. Bane in their existence is like not good. It's like, you know, dang. So one of these polygamous, polyamorous married couples in this orgy swinger party, weird, funky, sharing all the fluids with everybody in their mama, um, situation, um, I heard man, woman, dynamic, married couple just now man woman dynamic married couple they have had sex with somebody in a biker gang in the past for some you can know this person in the biker gang in the past for some you could be them i don't know i don't know people at biker gangs but wow i mean i don't judge this but i'm just a single woman living my life i don't deal with people at biker gangs <laughs> but anyways um they have, they have actually have sex, had sex with somebody in biker gang, but this person in the biker gang, man or woman, is about to become the bane of their existence. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, I got to get off here. I love you guys so much. Namaste.